I agree that too big to fail, unfortunately, is alive and well, and that poses a real threat, a real threat to all of us, to consumers, to citizens everywhere, fundamentally to the American economy. And I think now, several years after the passage of Dodd-Frank, we have objective numbers and evidence that that did not bury too big to fail. Now, I think the fact that Senator Brown and I are both here on the floor echoing each other's concerns, virtually repeating each other's arguments, is pretty significant. I don't know if we quite define the political spectrum of the United States Senate, but we've come pretty darn close. I think Senator Brown's historical analogy is right. It's like the unfettered growth and power of the trusts in the late 19th century. And there, too, folks of all sorts of ideologies correctly recognize that threat. Liberal Democrats, as well as Senator Brown's Republican predecessor, Senator Sherman, and, of course, the biggest Republican trust buster of all, Teddy Roosevelt. It's the same issue. It's the intense concentration of power. And as a conservative, I'm very suspicious and nervous about that. In a little more blunt terms, our colleague, Senator Elizabeth Warren, who was also a figure in coming up with Dodd-Frank, said recently in our banking committee hearing with Chairman Bernanke, quote, I'd like to go to the question about too big to fail, that we haven't gotten rid of it yet. And so now we have a double problem, and that is that the big banks, big at the time that they were bailed out the first time, have gotten bigger. And at the same time that investors believe with too big to fail out there that it's safer to put your money into the big banks and not the little banks, in effect creating an insurance policy for the big banks that the government is creating this insurance policy, not there for the small banks, close quote. Recently, George Will said, quote, by breaking up the biggest banks, conservatives will not be putting asunder what the free market has drawn together. Government nurtured these behemoths by weaving an improvident safety net and by practicing crony capitalism, close quote. And Peggy Noonan, another well-known conservative, has said, quote, if you are conservative, you are skeptical of concentrated power. I think we need to build on that consensus and act in a responsible way. Senator Brown and I have been doing that.